Welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Community Report 41 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This was published on the 20th of December 2021, if you're watching this in the future. And I've had a quick read through, and the main focus of this report is the devs give us some updates on the, of the current status of the crime and justice uh, update which was due for release before Christmas however as the the devs are reporting that is due to a few problems that may not be possible anyway we're just going to get in and start reading what they've got to say it says greetings dear comrades of the Soviet Republic we are less than a week away from the upcoming holiday season and we mentioned this in previous report there was a surprise we prepared for you unfortunately we're not able to fully implement and balance crime and justice before Christmas as we planned but at least we can release the update for testing this week to find out what else may be wrong with the game after rebalancing workers happiness and productivity now workers happiness and productivity is going to be a really big issue when this update drops it's going to completely change the game dynamics what i will do is talk a little bit about that once we get down to the relevant section so moving down it says we will release in upcoming days a small update for all players with brand new christmas lights you can use them to decorate your cities or rougher areas of course christmas is not the only reason you may want to decorate to give your republic a special look and feel so we might as well just take a quick look at the picture just so that i can get something for the thumbnail you can see here, the snow's probably speculating it, but it's got absolutely no idea how you do it. But looking round, I'd say that these are drawn. I don't know if you can see it, but my impression is that these are like lines of uh, lights, which you can then draw things with. But don't quote me on that. I'm just going to come back out here. So moving down to this, what is the main body of this report? So it's regarding the balancing issues we mentioned, we just do not want to hurry as in upcoming weeks, there are so many other things in our lives and we need to face due to this season. That is, it would not be worth just to push the update out for the sake of the deadline because it may break the game and we've done some testing and made some adjustments already, but there are still a need for more scenarios in which the actual balance may be manifested. Because I've got an IT background, I really uh, can understand the point of view that the devs are in at the moment. It's always tempting to stick to the deadline, but there's so much damage that you can do to a game or any piece of software if it's pushed out prematurely. And I, I really hope that they do take the time to get this balancing correct. And I think that's more important than actually meeting the deadline. There's the overall idea behind the rebalancing is to offer players more options on how to manage happiness, health and productivity and add more difficulty to those who like to be challenged by the game. But the game is about development of a republic by building residential and industrial areas and managing the workforce and resources, not a survival game where you should be punished for every mistake. So we want to avoid players getting into a slow death spiral due to the mechanics when they would waste their time and attempt to salvage the republic when there is no way to recover. Our goal is to give you options to boost happiness and productivity with some trade-offs. Now, I think, again, that is quite an important statement because... I've I've actually watched a stream by Lit Bildel who has access to the new update, and some of the things he talked about was very interesting. But I'll, I'll I'll talk about this once I read the next paragraph. Productivity will now have more impact in future as it is now because with fifty percent productivity, the output of a fully staffed facility drops significantly. This may lower your overall outputs and slow your progress. On the other hand, we need to be careful with critical infrastructure like power plants and heating plants and shops where the drop in productivity may cause a disaster as you can break the balance of already existing infrastructure. It's especially critical for those who do not auto build using rubles and dollars because for those it is not easy to rebuild power and heat distribution networks in brief time. There's just some potential concerns we have regarding game balance. What I'm about to say has come to the strong caveat that remember the, the release is not in the um, open test branch. So what I'm talking going to be talking about could be subject to change. Now, what I've got from uh, the live stream I watched is that uh, unlike at the moment where if you provide food, clothes and meat, you can get your happiness very easily to 100 percent and keep it in the high 90s all the time. What is going to happen going forward is that if you provide those three resources, you're going to get up to, say, I think the figure that was mentioned is 80%, but you can't get to 100%. Now, to get the extra percentage, you're going to have to provide radio, TV, and more importantly now, it seems alcohol is going to come back in, and you need to give your, if you give your population alcohol, you can get a higher happiness. 
which means I'm going to have to completely change my gameplay. But at the same time, alcohol still has the impact of giving poor health. So what is going to happen going forward, as far as I can gather, as I say, this is subject to final confirmation, is that we're going to have to balance the need for high health for growth, because the higher your health is, the more children you have, against happiness, which will give you more productivity. And therefore, and if you've only got a happiness of 80% as a baseline, it won't take much for that productivity to drop down to a point where it could start to affect your overall productivity. And, uh, and I think one of the examples that uh, um, it was given in the live stream was that if you get down to about 30%, you, you, your workers are effectively working at such a low efficiency that even though you may have a full uh, complement of staff in, say, a store, you're only getting effectively the equivalent of a third of the staff. And this is going to be something that's going to be quite crucial with actually trying to balance in your demands. And one of my immediate thoughts is that if you're going to be planning a city now, that where before you'd choose a shop to say, well, that will have more than enough workers in it, what you may need to do now is ensure that you've got more workers than you actually need to deal with um, low productivity. But this is just my early opinion. It also means that based on the way I play, I'm, I'm going to have to completely rethink because you're probably going to need to have some cities that have high happiness or high productivity. So say, for example, you've got a, a major production area, which is key to your economy, such as food or clothes. And then what you may need is, say, possibly an academic area or somewhere that's, say, a farming community where you may get high happiness and that will be your source of your new residence. And I have a feeling that this might actually possibly solve the, the massive growth of over 21s that we all experience. Anyway, that's just my top level opinion. And it says that there are a few ways to play the game that so we want to keep in mind that the game offers different challenges to those who build using money and those who build using construction offices. For those who use money, the aspect of time has a different meaning because it can instantly adjust their infrastructure if they have capital for that. But they may overextend easily and thus lose workers in the process. On the other hand, building by yourself takes a lot of time. You need to keep a reasonable pace off for population growth over time even in the hardest difficulty because the difficulty level will also have more impact on the overall game through workers happiness and over productivity we will give you more details about this in an upcoming report so what they're implying is that if you're going to play on the hardest difficulty you, you may there may be some more difficult consequences probably the best comparison that springs to mind even though the comparison isn't between two city building games is when you play at a legendary level in Total War games, managing the public order and the food is an absolute nightmare. Anyway, so down here we've got some nice pictures of the different lights. Actually, I quite like this picture, actually. I think I'll use this for the thumbnail. Ah, that's pretty awesome, actually. All we got down here is a concluding paragraph, which says, We hope you can wait a few more weeks for the release of Crime and Justice Update is delayed if you wish you can get the update earlier in the public test branch when it's released but bear in mind the potential risk for your existing republic you can always go back to an earlier save game and may lose progress if things go wrong after you switch to the test version you feel free to provide feedback and report bugs if you find some using steam forums on or our support page time is coming to coming to spend some quality time and have fun during this holiday season with our families, not only with the game, but do not forget that it's important for the overall happiness and productivity. Enjoy this time and stay tuned for the next report. So it looks very much like we will be, be getting a possibility of getting to the um, public test branch fairly soon. They're not giving a specific date, which is understandable. What I will say for anyone who follows my channel is that what I will do is as soon as this hits the um, public beta test branch, I will be switching to it because I, I really want to test these new mechanics, even if they're not fully complete against my two existing series. Although, to be honest, um, reading this and thinking about it, this um, change to uh, the happiness, productivity and health could spell the end for my four corners series i think this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming